Guys, I've got to share this with you. We had a fantastic evening Thursday. It was so cool. Uh, I was fortunate. My wife and I got to sit at the table nearest the microphone uh, when Go Give It Taconite was presented uh, Business of the Year for our area uh, by the Chamber of Commerce. And the keynote speaker that night was Governor Scott Walker, Governor of Wisconsin, right here in Hurley, Wisconsin. He came up here and all this crap to see us and talk to us. And it was just, it was kind of mind-boggling. He spoke to us for about 30 minutes. When he walked up to that microphone, he did so barehanded. He never stumbled. You don't when you're speaking from your heart. He never consulted a note. He had no notes. People that are speaking and saying things they've been taught to say sometimes stumble. And that's a giveaway. He didn't. He's speaking his mind and his heart. And it was amazing. Sitting in front, I was so fortunate that uh, when they escorted him out afterwards, he had to get back to the Capitol because he got speech to make the next morning. Uh, something to do with schools. But I got to shake his hand, and not many people did. I'll tell you what, 99% of the people didn't get that opportunity, and I was very fortunate, and I'm thankful for it. It, w it was really great. Uh, but think about this. Like I said before, in 2010, the state of Wisconsin had a $3 billion deficit and no end in sight. We'd been led by liberalism. Scott Walker made promises. He was going to make cuts. He was going to cut taxes. And he was going to ask people that were getting freebies to give up some of that. It's tough. It's a tough call. But he did so. That meant teachers and government workers had to start paying part of their health insurance. Things like that. Okay, 2013 fiscal year ends. We've got a $1 billion surplus. And by cutting taxes and relieving the burden of employers, the unemployment rate has gone from 9.4% to 6.2 in the same time period. That's as of this week. Now that's an amazing thing. That's a really cool statistic. Liberals are saying, well, no, you can't really look at that surplus like that. Don't be bragging about it because that surplus is just part of what's happening nationwide because Obama has guided us out of this recession, which is absolute bullshit, and we all know it. <laughs> Bottom line is they can't give credit where credit's due. And I understand that because, like my liberal buddy told me, when does a conservative give a liberal credit when credit's due? <laughs> Sometime it is and we just don't. But those are really great statistics. And he said, what are we going to do with this surplus money? Now we've got a billion dollars to spend. We're going to give it back to those that earned it. And how are we going to do it? He said, we're going to cut state income tax again. We're going to lower the percentage across the board for everybody. So everybody's going to pay a lower percentage. And they're also lowering property taxes for everybody. And we're all going to see additional money in our bank accounts for that. That's amazing. And all that money will turn around and get spent. The way it works is when you lower taxes on employers and 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 allow them to create jobs, that brings in more employees paying taxes, which brings more money in, and we see the result right now. There it is. And he said it works. It did work. Let's continue it. And he did it in the midst of a recall election. Holy smoke. Bottom line is, Scott Walker rocks. It was an amazing evening. I had to share, oh, icing on the cake, something most people do not know if you like to fish up here, <laughs> they are putting four times the amount of walleye in our lakes now as they were before he came along. How cool is that? Scott Walker rocks. It's that simple.